Welcome back, everybody, to the second episode of Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows. Almost one of my favorite games in the entire Thief franchise. I think for now I am going to keep Bloom off. I like the richer lighting. And uh, before I start talking about how rich and beautiful the lighting looks, I'm going to make... Yeah, Bloom is off. I can almost tell with the naked eye, typically. Almost always. So, and I'm just going to make sure that... Because this game does have... I noticed some graphical artifacts the last time I played it. Um, sometimes it freaks out with the recording software and you get like weird jagged edges or performance issues. Or... Alright, everything looks good. We are getting a nice solid frame rate. So let's get out. Okay, so we stole a Bloodline Opal. Now we gotta get down to uh, Black Market Perry to. Let's go ahead and check the controls real quick. I want to see if I can actually walk around without any weapons. There's a holster. Clear weapon equals. Okay. I'm going to switch that to H for holster. Okay, input. H, and I don't, for clear item, I mean, we really just, you just cycle through with the mouse wheel, so I'm not going to mess with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just holster real quick. Okay, good, we're good. Now, one of the cool things is, this is Garrett's apartment oh, it's building. just you. Yeah. At first, I thought somebody had broken in or something. Well, good evening. So this guard, since it's your own apartment building, he doesn't care. You know what? You know you live here. You're a tenant, so that's pretty cool. And as I said, I think I, I talked about this at some length in the previous episode. I do really like the uh, the open world aspect of this game. I think um, the game really benefits from it. And there's a lot of people who are extremely critical of it. And they say like, oh, it ruined the game, and it's so boring. I relax and with the like, like that around. I just don't understand that, because I really like the concept of like, well, you know, I'm Garrett, and I'm a thief, and I, I don't want to be in a mission right now that might have like, I don't know, spooky skeletons or ghosts or whatever the hell, um, but I do want to go around and steal shit, you know. Um, I also like that your inventory isn't, there's no inventory screen anymore. If you need to stock up on stuff before a mission, you go to, but that also means that you're not restricted by the inventory screen as to how much you can buy or what you can buy. Um, just make your way to, uh... Captain, my arse. If he's a captain, then I'm a... Well, I don't know what... But he's no captain, not a good one anyway. Yeah, just make... Sorry, uh, sure. once again, the game volume is a little loud for me, so... It's hard to... Like, with the headphones on, it's hard to talk over them, because it's, like, blasting right in my ears. Um... Uh, but yeah, you, you just go to a shop and you get what you need. Actually, I'm gonna... Back off here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do what I usually do with this guy. Says I should. So what I usually do, he's a, just a rent a cop. So that's my landlord's office. And if you've played the Thief series before, you know that land, uh, Garrett's landlord's a bit of a dick. Although you gotta ask yourself, Garrett, you know, if he's such a master thief, either the fence, the fences are giving him terrible prices, or I don't know, maybe his apartment's really expensive, but he's always complaining about not having rent or not having enough money for rent, so I just don't understand. I mean, is he a master thief or not? He doesn't seem very wealthy from it for being, you know, I think in the lore he might even be one of the greatest thieves of all time. Um, so it's a little silly that he's just always broke, but times is tough, I guess. So yeah, let's read our Journal of Z Wicked. Tuesday, finally got the rent money from Garrett, the tenant across the hall. Just in time, too. But taff it all. These payments are draining me dry. Why is he blackmailing me? I'm not a rich man. I put the rent money in with the other coins I've managed to gather up and deposited them at, as the blasted lowlife instructed underneath an old sewer grate down in Black Alley. I can't take much more. Making payments every single day like this. Alright, so... Too again. bad Mr. Wicket has to pay money to his blackmailer. Too bad for his blackmailer that I know where the drop is. Actually, I think it's too bad for Mr. Wicket because uh, the blackmailer's not going to know that the money was deposited 
unless he picked it up. And so if we pick it up, then our landlord's going to be in trouble, but whatever. So what I like to do here is uh, just put him like on this bench like that. And then you go get a wine bottle or something. Like so. And was it, is it R just to drop? Yeah, he's been drinking out here. He passed out. That's why everyone's houses got broken into. I mean, are about to get broken into. I also gotta check what my quick save settings are. I wanna say it's, f yeah, here we go, F5, all right, cool. Yeah, I just think it adds something to the gameplay to be like, yes, I'm going to break into here and I'm going to find stuff. Steal Which from door? Oh, you gotta be careful around these chairs. I think it's special in higher difficulties because if you yeah. move them, you'll wake him up. I should have just... As I said, the chairs in this game have uh, physics. Does he have anything over here? No. Nothing sparkly. As I get more comfortable with the mechanics, guys, I am going to try and ghost more missions rather than knock everybody out. I mean, I'll, I'll do my best. I don't know. There's also a part of me that just wants to explore, so we'll see. Again, this Let's Play, you know, series, it's not really about, like, showing off my skills. It's more just about, like, giving my thoughts on the game, and part of that is being able to check out all the content the game has to offer. Eh? Well, I like this lady's place because I can always. Hmm. I wonder what I saw there. Oh well. You saw nothing. Henry and the Hag. Once there was a little boy named Henry who lived with his mother and father. Henry was good most of the time, but sometimes he disobeyed his parents and went out wandering the streets alone at night. He was hoping to find food for his parents, who often went hungry to make sure Henry had enough. One night, Henry came upon an old gray lady. She asked him to help with a bundle, which he was too, which was too heavy for her. Henry wanted to help the old woman, though he couldn't see her face under the gray hood. When Henry stooped to lift the bundle, he did see her face. It was the hag. When the hag was done eating him, all that was left of Henry was a pile of bones and clothes. When his parents found him the next day, his mother wept. Oh, if only he had listened to me and not gone out alone at night. The end. Yeah, that's the hag is going to be a recurring fixture of the lore, which is why I was saying earlier that it's sort of a shame that um, I'm just gonna go over here real quick, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, it's a shame that uh, I'm running this on an SSD because, due to that fact. Uh, we can't read a lot of the little tips on the loading screens, and as I said before, um, that typically results in uh, us not being able to see a lot of the lore of the game. There are lots of rhymes and men, you know references to the trickster, to Karis, to the to the builder, um, to the hag. So all sorts of interesting lore and stuff. And I just have to check my bit rate real quick. I think I changed it for another video. And I hope I didn't, so output. Oh no, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Never mind. Okay. So we're gonna go out in the south quarter. And I was right, Garrett lives in south. See, like these loading screens. See, there's a rhyme, a children's rhyme. Ah, uh, the so city. Said, Barely saw Obey the law, and, so he says, and there's no need to worry about the residents. Uh, Sorry about the, the city chief watch are the guys who want to lock me team. up, though. Guys. Gotta keep my Same eye out for them. I can read so I could see for myself. I asked why, but the city was going to give me the to time of day. Off. What do you think? Next time Some I kind of plague? That's what I thought. But then, I was talking to Jesse down over the tavern, and he says that some kind of ship come into the docks. Something wrong with it. The quarantine is so that... And this is Jesse who said it, so take it for what it's worth. That otherwise, the undead would be everywhere. <sighs> Everywhere? I I wonder if Natalie is okay. She lives over in the docks near the Bloody Ears Tavern. I know. And Grace O'Malley, too. Mind you, Jesse could be wrong. Sure, he's been wrong before. That's right. 
Everything's probably all right. Yeah, the city watch is just being careful. Doing this quarantine thing is a precautionary type step. Yeah. So these guys are talking about quarantining of a ship that showed up in the harbor carrying possibly the undead. And um, it's creeping everybody out, freaking them out. This is a... There's a lot going on in that little tidbit right there of uh, dialogue that we can overhear. First off, um, it's uh, foreshadowing some events that are going to occur later in the game. Actually, a whole level that's going to occur later in the game. It's also somewhat a reference to Thief 1 and the walled-off section of the city where the undead became... Um, they overran the city and they were sort of treated as a plague. Um, so, yeah, you gotta pay attention to little things like that. Also, notice that until hey, I start you. hurting people or stealing from them, I'm just another citizen. Ooh, what's with the hood? See? He's suspicious of me, like, what's with the hood, but he's not freaking out right now. Um, another interesting thing you'll notice, you saw I found two water arrows in the fountain. In the city, you will find elemental arrows near their respective elements. Go figure. <laughs> so... this oh yeah someone in the comments uh, said something about if you get stuck in the falling animation um, to zoom in with the bow so thank you for that ah there we go got up here so yeah guys also in lieu of climbing or excuse me yeah, I need to think about what I'm saying first in lieu of uh, uh, rope arrows in this game uh, they instituted climbing gloves instead so yeah uh, there is a lot of emphasis on scaling, you know, parts of the buildings and stuff. Actually, I've never even done this before. I was just dicking around here. But so here we go. And once again, up. Oh my God! I wow. Okay, I've really never done this before. So yeah, near their respected ele respective elements, these are pipes that carry gas around or something. So there's gas arrows typically hidden up here. I have never been here before. This is awesome. I'm gonna quick save again because I have a problem. I've got a fever, and the only prescription is more quick saving. That was awesome. I mean, it only takes me here. I was hoping there'd be like a way to break into an apartment from there or something, but there's not. Um, another thing too is you're going to want to read notes around the open world parts of the city because there's little things you can do, and you're going to want to pay attention visually too. So that door's locked, but I can actually sneak in here. And this is a little area that I can explore. So, I think I can break into this door as well. This is a little bit more of a nondescript way. I think there's a, and there's like little mini stories that occur. I think there's something involving this room later on. I don't remember how it's resolved, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. God, I love the graphics in this game. Still. <laughs> I mean, yeah, some of them have, haven't aged. Some parts of the graphics engine haven't aged super well, but ultimately it looks great. As I said, though, or in the in the last uh, Let's Play, this game really does, or this engine does really work better with natural light sources like fire, sunlight, uh, moonlight through the windows. Uh, it this game does, or this engine does not hold up nearly as well when we're talking about uh, Deus Ex Invisible War. So nothing in here right now, but at least we know that this place exists. So we're going to go check out our map. Uh, my place. So here's the well, here's the gate. So we're actually going to want to take this alley here, go past the market. This is the prison, I believe. And there's a well over here. That'll come into play later. And we need to go to Black Market. Or Black Alley. And let's see. What are the... Go see your friend's heartless Perry in Black Alley to sell him the book. Opal. Yeah, and see when you when you find out little things, your landlord has been hiding blackmail money under a sewer grate in Black Alley. So I'm just gonna go over that way. So the only people that will arrest you on site are the City Watch. Also, this is a rust beetle, and that will come into play later. Unfortunately, um, this is one of the many things that you can do to appease different factions. Um, I, last time I tried to play this game, or the last time I played, I tried to uh, kill a bunch of these early on and uh, get my favor up pretty quick. 
and um, it doesn't work like that. It, your favor doesn't increase until you actually start the, the faction system in the game. So, again, people over here. No city watch yet over here, so I'm just exploring. Like a big empty pit. That's I can all break in here fits. if I want, which I may actually do that. And then here's that well we were talking about. Yeah, there's actually story-relevant reasons why parts of the city are walled. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. Um, one of them is that... Uh, there's another rust beetle. I wonder if they patched it so that they're a little easier to find. And then what the hell is this? Oh, this is Pavelock Prison, isn't it? Yeah. Again, the, the city kind of feels small, a little closed off, a little narrow. Um, same issue with the uh, Deus Ex uh, Invisible War, where you'll be in uh, Seattle, for example, and most of Seattle will be about the size of one or two of these little mini open world maps here. And I don't think we're supposed to be under the impression that that's all of Seattle. I think this is just supposed to be a section of the city. You know what I mean? This is supposed to be an impression of the quarter, not the whole quarter itself. You know, this is not all of South Quarter. This is just a little bite-sized piece of it to give us an impression of what the rest of South Quarter is like. Um, and I've kind of liked the cozy feel of Deus Ex Invisible War in this game, but I can totally understand criticisms of the game where if people really were in their minds sort of interpreting this as yeah, the, the object stacking and, and climbing just <laughs> works super great in this game. Um, if you were sort of interpreting this as the entirety of the city, you're like, wow, the city doesn't look that small. Um, why is it so small? I don't get it. I think I put F as flash bomb. I'll have to double check that, but... Uh... I love, like, the just the atmosphere. Breaking into people's houses, everything's quiet, very peaceful. This nice uh, firelight going on here. Something about it. <clears throat> but yeah, if your mind was sort of interpreting the the city um, as being just the entirety of all these maps, then yeah, it's just like no, the city is not supposed to be that small. This is ridiculous. But I never viewed it as such. So it's a gaslight. So technically, I can take that out. But I'm gonna try and not waste a water arrow. I'm gonna get up here. This is what I'm talking about. I love this open world gameplay. It's just like, yeah, you know, I'm supposed to do one thing, but I'm just going to go collect some more loot. I'm just going to save again because I have a disease. And you know what? I am going to use a water arrow here because... I do not want to get busted by this guy. Does he have a key? He does have a key on him. <coughs> I'm just gonna knock him out. Like I said, guys. So yeah, you can uh, take out the candles. I can also do this. Move that chair because there's almost certainly something behind there. And is there any? No, there's no, there's no secret trap door in there. But let's get another healing potion. It's a shame you can't eat to regain health in this game, but I, it's less of a necessity that might be why they took it out. They're trying to not make the game too easy. It is a hell of a lot easier than Thief uh, 1 or 2. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, if you could eat, because, like, you find health potions that were like, look, let's look at my inventory. I already have six freaking health potions. I think that's more than you're given in the entirety of, like, Thief Gold. Now, I am curious what the hell this is for. This might have been a holdover from when rope arrows were still in the game, because I honestly have no idea why this would be here. There's no secret passages here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I don't think you can get up there using wall climbing glo- Oh! I- now I know. I'm gonna go back and do that. I may have to use one of these healing potions. Again, guys, this game's a little janky with the uh, fall damage. That's why. Okay, so never mind. 
was silly of me to assume that. There we go. There was a diamond hidden in the chandelier. That's awesome. So do that. And then we're going to go back here. What was it? V to change per... Yeah. V to change perspective. It's a little easier to navigate, I think, in first person sometimes. Come on. Oh, God, yeah. Clipping issues with the first person. Let's go. Okay, let's try it again. Nope. Yep, like I said, a little bit of jank, guys. I am going to use a healing potion because this is a little fucked up. Or we can try it again in third person. Let's try that. I wouldn't say the first person is seamless in this. As you as you saw, like there are some issues with clipping, and they're still there. I, okay, I really don't know what's going on with that. That's weird. Um, I'm gonna try this. Reduce my fall damage. Yeah, there we go. That should be. Fine. There we go. No fall damage. Great. Now I'm going to. Can I steal this painting now? And uh, what's weird is that there's no writings about what's in the chandelier, but uh, I'm sure you can just find it, figure it out by looking around I'll right. do you, of course you can pickpocket if they have valuables you can pickpocket people in the streets like this so there's a city guardsman or city watch guy so I gotta watch myself around him but I am going and I think that's their their guard tower thing but uh, I am going to save again I know I'm saving like oh, crazy. Dearie. But... So there we go. That's took all that guy's. Those are City Watch. You can tell by their insignia. They're the guys I have to look out for. Okay. Looking good. Now I'm gonna try something later. I'm gonna go. Try something later. How many friggin' water arrows? 18. I mean, that's a lot, but still, that's not, you know, not rolling in them. Alright, so here's Black Alley. This is Black Alley. The red handprint is the mark of illegal establishments. I think I did get up here one time. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, it's pretty fun to climb around, but, you know, nothing compared to the original two, and that, I think it was a pretty fair criticism, but once you get the wall climbing gloves, it, it, there is some verticality that opens up in the city. Um, sometimes it's pretty awesome, but it can be slightly lackluster. So here's that grate that my landlord was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy's chill. He's not going to fuck with us, but he's got money, so I'm going to steal it. Here's another thing. These are these cornerstones right here. You can shoot elemental arrows into them to appease the pagans. We'll get to that later. Alright, ready? <sighs> and he's got a monocle and a, Excuse and me. a bracelet, too. So we're just gonna keep hitting him up here. Excuse me? Oh no, where'd it go? Maybe I dropped it? Okay, it's weird that I'm gonna try doing some first person. Maybe it'll be easier to spot. So they fall off. That's a shame you can't pickpocket those. It's a little bit of an oversight, I think. In the design. I think th that one's a shop, and the other one is uh, the fence. It is cool, though, too. Again, trying to make it feel more like a, like a realistic... Like, this is what you... This is more what Garrett's life would be like if you're playing as Garrett as a thief. Like, you know, if you're actually going to steal in reality... You don't just steal and then just, like, what are you going to do with this stuff? You got to sell it. But most places won't take stolen goods. Or goods that appear to be stolen. Even pawn shops will give you a stink eye if they think you're you're selling stolen stuff. I came into possession of a bunch of DVD players one time. So my buddy was, uh, like, fixing them. Um, 
and then he moved and he's like all right I've you know these ones are okay uh, you could probably get like 10 20 bucks each for them so I had like 10 DVD players and I took them to a uh, pawn shop and they told me to get the hell out because they assumed that I stole them um, so yeah if you you know if you have suspicious shit pawn shops won't take it so yeah in real life you would have to know a fence to sell these goods um, and so I think it was a cool feature if you're gonna have this open world segment it's like yeah well just because the mission's over and you have 500 worth of loot does not mean you immediately have 500 buying power you know you need to go actually turn that into currency ah so oh, we're gonna go back we don't have any cash yet but that's the shop so here's heartless Perry Garrett Taff. didn't expect to see you haven't you heard Lady Elizabeth from Rutherford Castle is after you. She was in here with some goons, asking a bunch of questions about that opal. They did a job on me. See the bruises? Had to give them a name. I guess before I knew that I'd given them yours. Which is the truth, ain't it? Anyway, uh, I'd watch your back, eh, pal? Uh, about the opal, no way I can risk taking it now, but I know someone who can a fence in Stone Market. Black Market Bertha. If I were you, I'd go to Stone Market to see her now, before those goons find you. A anyway, I can still give you cash for whatever other loot you stole from the castle. Business as usual, and uh, no hard feelings, eh, Garrett? I mean, uh, who's the one all beaten up? <laughs> What's the word on the street? So I need some good news for Harry a change, is a Gareth. Story, and he, uh, he sold us out. But he's still a pretty reliable fence. Um, and here's another interesting little detail that they added uh, for, for sort of depth of gameplay here is that just because you have, like, loot and you found a fence does not mean they can take it. So just any so you know, I don't take artwork. You know, paintings and stuff. But I know someone who does. See? A fence over near the docks. Dolly is her name. Yeah. And all that arty junk's her game. So this particular item, the blood on the opal, it's too hot right now. And, and he's already been roughed up by, you know, uh, the family's goons. So we can't, the Rutherford's uh, goons, so <sighs> we can't sell it to I him. I gotta say, and then he doesn't I'm take, still uh, hurting all over from that roughing up I got. He doesn't take uh, paintings, and then he's not taking these either because uh, some of the Gilded Helm, for example. Did another, you hear about the quarantine? City Watch ain't telling it's what it's about, but I got my hunches, that's for sure. Family, so he can't keep it in case they come around again. So we're just going to go ahead and sell all. Only you could nab this much stuff, Garrett. Did you leave those folks anything? No. All right, so now we have to go to Stone Market. Sorry, guys, I'm just... Uh... My volume knob. I can't tell if it's just loosened up because I've been using it more, or if uh, it's because I dropped it. Uh, yeah, I'm just. It, it, I had a I had a blue Yeti before, and I thought it was great until like the USB, like I I never messed with the USB cable very much, but it just the, the port just broke. Ah, so And I actually welcome. tried to. Is this your first time visiting us? Solder a new one back on, but Take your I'm, time. I'm actually okay Bruce, at soldering. I soldered enjoy. the new one onto the pins. Shopping should never be a rushed experience. I did so much Take your time, damage look to the around. Board, Here at the well equipped thief, we pride so ourselves on stocking everything a person process. like yourself might need. And honestly, you need something like a desoldering iron. And we hope you find everything stuff. you need with this quarantine. We're cut off from our regular oh, suppliers for a while. None of us know what that's like. So broadheads I don't use very often. We hope you find noise everything makers you need. Occasionally. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular Black suppliers for a while. I'm actually gonna buy. I'd like to have. Uh, yeah, I'll max out. We hope you find everything you need. Water arrows. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. That's another thing is that these guys, uh, they only have so many items. In we hope shop, you find so. everything. This is another way they've sort of balanced the difficulty. You can't just like, although honestly, towards the end of the game, you can just kind of stock up on everything. Um, the sneaking is not too hard in this game, so. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna go over to Stone Market. And we're gonna sell to Black Market Bertha. And then I think probably the plot's gonna thicken there.
I'm gonna try and do a longer play session tonight so that we can get some progress in the game. I'd like to get through. Well, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there, there's a certain there's certain things I'd like to get through. Yes, got his coin purse, pickpocket him. Also, it's fun to point out the- oh, shit. I may have to reload that quick save if that doesn't work out. Okay, so this is another way through to the docks. I oh, no, that's Pavelock. And this is the guard's center, the guard's- yeah. Corner. I'm gonna see what's in this little corner right here if there's anything cool. Not quite. Yeah, not quite. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back this way. Typically don't knock people, typically, in the city, in the open world segments. Oh, shit, he's not coming. Wasting here. my time. Just a figment of my imagination. Just go. Go, go, go. There we go. go back this way. Yeah, so they'll start populating Evening. areas of the city with more guards and stuff. Uh, when I first played this game in, I think, winter 2004. Oh, here we go. Some interesting stuff. Never mind. I'll shut up. <laughs> Looks like Lady Elizabeth is here with a couple of thugs. Did you see that fence wince? I only had to hit him three times before he started spilling his guts. Couldn't wait to give us Garrett's name. It was my knife at his throat that made him talk, you taffer. Heartless Perry, huh? He wasn't so tough. I want to go back and rough him up some more. Shut up, you fools. The whole town can hear you. Beg pardon, Lady Elizabeth. The money is ready. Don't dally. I haven't got all night. Taff. <laughs> we wasn't being that loud. And if she's a noble, then I must be quite a gent. <sighs> I'll be glad when this job is over. Let's go. Beating on Perry was fun, but it's the money that counts. And I don't want to give that witch time to change her mind. The money better be right. I'm bringing my knife, just in case. Hold on, you taffer. We can't go all at once. Who'd guard the gate? No, we gotta go up one at a time. That way the other two can keep a lookout for Garrett or anything suspicious. Make sure no one, and I do mean no one, gets through our barricade until the lady's opal is back in her hands. Else, why would she pay, huh? <clears throat> all right, all right. Don't go all bossy on us. So if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a little side plot here where they are gonna rough her up for the money. <sighs> and, uh, potentially kill her, so I think you can save her. But what I'm gonna is, do... Uh... I'm gonna go in here and see if there's any money that they were talking about. There's your pay. And there'll be more. Much more. Once I have the Bloodline Opal in my possession. <sighs> oh yeah, so you can take their pay for trying to thwart you and your endeavors, and then she's got even more money there on the table, so we're actually gonna go knock her out. Instead of just sneaking past him, there's a little, you know, there's a little story associated with this. It's also, you know, interesting, you know, it doesn't always happen, in, but like, some of your, you know, 
actions in the missions have consequences. Oh, I think he's coming in. He said he wants to see what's taking so long. So, what should I do here? Well, I'm definitely going to take this. Soon the opal will be mine. The fence told us the thief's name is Garrett and that he'll try for Stone Market, but my men have barricaded the gate and are ready for him. When I return to Castle Rutherford with the opal, I'll watch Julian and Ember suffer, for a time anyway. Later I'll poison them. Never leave loose ends, lady. She's kind of a piece of shit. That's the thing. I want the... Give me the purse. Alright, I got the coin purse. Now I'm ready to move back out this way. So yeah, you can thwart their plan and then steal all the money that they were going to use to try and, uh, try and get you. I may actually use, well, I don't know if I'll use a noisemaker here. I do have a gas arrow now, that's pretty cool. But this guy's, like, he's ready, so... I may actually kill him. I can't take that lamp out. So we're going to try a couple of things. We're going to try being super stealth here. Because I don't like this guy and his attitude right now. See how Garrett puts the knife up like that when he's ready to backstab, and then you can. Oh, yeah! Get some. Alright, so now I'm gonna go hide this guy's. I'm gonna go throw him in with his cohorts. Or, yeah, I'll throw him in there. That's fine. I'll show, you, I'll show you some other cool stuff, too. Alright, so we're gonna go take this guy in here. We're having a nice little happy family reunion. She can go piss off her family right there. I think if you don't kill her, or if you don't let her be killed, the story, the plot thickens. So she's still alive. I think the, we're not done with the Rutherford side plot here. So we may come back here later in a different part to check out what's happening. Now, these bloodstains on the street are suspicious, and they will cause people to sort of freak out and possibly even call a guard to investigate, so we can wash away the evidence of our crime. Nice. Yeah, I told you, the backstabbing's pretty cool, and I like Garrett's little uh, dagger flip. And his dagger is awesome, too. Actually, I was into blacksmithing for a while, and I forged a, a copy of Garrett's dagger from Rebar. Not the best knife-making material, but at least it's pretty tough. It does not hold an edge very well. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a hard save here. What was one of the other objectives? Okay, so, wait, girls. Deal with Lady Elizabeth and her thugs so you can get in the stone market. I guess that's... Well, I've made it past Lady Elizabeth and her thugs, and now here I am in Stone Market. This district's known for commerce and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything is locked up for the night. Hmm. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city, a good landmark day or night. And finally, the Stone Market Plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the City Watch will be keeping an eye out for pickpockets like me, though. Being a thief is never as easy as it sounds. Anyway, it's time for me to find this Bertha character and get rid of the opal once and for all. I hope Perry was right about her. Man, Stephen Russell's voice, you just can't get better than that. Oh, I love this area. Stone Market's great. Big Bertha's place is marked on my map with the red handprint. Okay, so I'm gonna go hang out here in the shadows real quick, and also, real quick guys, I am going to, or no, we're gonna stay, because uh, this game does not like to be alt-tabbed out of in the menus, at all, it's really angry about that. So I just gotta go into NVIDIA preferences here, nope, that's the wrong, that's the wrong NVIDIA. Sorry about this guys, I just don't want that stupid uh, overlay notification popping up every single time. We load a new mission. Why is it taking so long to open? Come on. Oh, 
Oh, are you serious? All right, we may have to just deal with it this time. All right, hold on. No, I think it's opening. Just give it a sec. Sorry, guys. I'll go back to the game for just a little bit while that's doing that. Okay, so I don't think that door opens. Okay, sorry. It just alt-tabbed me out of the game on my own. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. General, there we go. In-game overlay, disabled. There we go, now let's see. If I have to re no, I don't have to restart the application, fantastic. And we are still recording, great, fantastic. I know, super professional guys, super professional. <laughs> let's get back to it. Yeah, I like this area, so I don't think that door can be opened. Um, but this is a little, uh, in actually. Oh, there's a douchebag here. I'm just gonna knock him out, because I don't like, I don't like the cut of his jib. <laughs> I don't like this dude. I don't trust him. I always love the light, like, this honestly blew my mind. This little alley right here when this game first came out. It doesn't look super great now, but it doesn't look terrible either. This is pretty cool. go nice can you get is there anything worth finding up here I can't remember no I don't think so no. but it's cool that you can do that so I'm gonna go check out yeah so this inn has a bunch of guards on it and I can rob it at night this is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know why people bitched about the open world. This is so cool. Because you feel like a thief. You know? And some of the best mich missions in the previous games that people love uh, had these kind of elements in them. Like, again, Life of the Party. Most of that mission is actually just a little open world where you can go steal whatever you want. And there's apartments and, like, uh, warehouses and all sorts of stuff that you can break into. And that's super fun another way in here without getting through the you can climb in through the window I'm gonna go up here though I think I am gonna knock these guys out definitely don't want to be exposed by that for too long yeah this game came out on the original Xbox and the Xbox version looks awful seriously awful still can't believe that they, I mean, the mad lads, they released Half-Life 2 and Doom 3 on the original Xbox. Man, those were, those chugged. Gonna peeked out of the shadows real quick to grab the expensive, it, they always say it's expensive wine, I'm just like, I don't know, like, wine can get expensive, but whiskey can get super expensive, so. I always chose to think of it as, like, really aged scotch or something. So I'm actually gonna risk going out in the light. As soon as that guy goes over there, I'm gonna grab those two, uh, two coin piles right there. Actually, you know, let's make a hard save just since we're already in stone market now. Like I said, I will ghost when I can, but it, it can be difficult sometimes. Honestly, I think this little inn is easier to, to ghost in than it is to try and knock everybody out because of the way the lights are situated. I'm curious what's on the ground floor. And I'm surprised that none of these are expensive. I'll take this one out too. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, I don't. Nope, don't want to do that. Nope, you didn't see anything. I have to 
look up how to cancel arrows. I didn't feel any draft. Might actually knock this guy out. Is someone being clever? Ha! We barely a scratch. All right. Is there any, I mean, I'm sure there is something downstairs worth, uh, worth stealing. There's gotta be some cash behind the, the bar or something. I looked it up, this game is, uh, apparently it's only 12 hours to finish, unlike, um, 1 and 2, which are honestly closer to 18 many times. Just gonna take this that long. He's oh. probably gonna get suspicious, but at least I've got some distance away from him. I don't have to worry about being exposed by the moonlight. And I'm gonna quick save too. Notice too that bottle fell over. On a higher difficulty, that might cause uh, some suspicion. Nothing. Nobody. But I sure had myself going for a while there. <laughs> and again, I love this. You know, there's no detective vision, there's no whatever, but I can tell what's going on with the guards. You know, they talk like the sound tells me where they are. Their little commentary to themselves tells me there's a their alert status. Um, you know, it just informs a lot so you can keep quiet. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for this guy for sure, and then knock him out. Okay. Let's go ahead and save again. Love being able to take out candles in this one because again, it was not something that you could do in the first games. <laughs> so again, on a higher difficulty, you got to really be careful of these physics objects. Lights off. I can't guard in the dark. Yeah, see, like that actually made quite a bit of noise clattering to the ground there. You know, that's, I'm sure, uh, Warren Spector was like, well, you know, we have this tech, so we might as well use it. Let's add more physics objects and reactivity into the game, um, to give more depth to gameplay and consequence, too. You know, you can't just, like, barrel through, you know, uh, objects now. You have to be careful about their positioning and, and you know, knocking them over and things like that, so... I don't think that the- I can't remember if those mercs are gonna f with me, so I'm gonna save real quick. So I robbed that place blind, and we're just gonna check this out now. There's no gas arrows, I think, up there to grab, so... Yeah, I'll, I also loved this alley, the lighting here. Yeah, th I think this guy's cool. Yeah, he's chill, but we're gonna take his coin purse anyways. Okay, so this game's not so difficult as I first did. I just gotta get used to the mechanics again. Because, um, I'll throw him in this corner and know what's coming here. Come on, man. 
That's, uh, again, a little bit of jankiness. It's kind of annoying getting rid of bodies. See, that wall looks fantastic from this distance. Really, really great. Okay, I think that's where we came in from, roughly. No, it's not. I actually forgot quite a bit of this map here. That's interesting. for theft and assault. Nice. I, and again, I don't know if it's like Dishonored where you start seeing more of these if you if you kill more people and stuff. I don't remember. Make sure you check on my place tonight, officer. Oh, okay. I think I do need to take this guy out. Curious what's going on up here. Yeah, these textures not so great. These look terrible. They can't all be winners. I would normally ghost a little bit more, but uh, get in the hang of this particular game. I tell you, after doing Thief 2 and uh, Thief 2X and then Thief Gold uh, and then playing more on Expert and then playing some fan missions, man, I got the, the controls for the original Thief down. I may not actually knock this guy out. I want him to get in trouble because he is drinking on the job, right? So. Hello, it's me. Is that you, uh, Garrett? Yeah, that's right. I'm Garrett, Master Thief at your service. McFarley said you had a job for me. Brant, is it? Indeed I do. I, um, um... What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I, I just thought you looked different. That's all. It's, it's nothing. Hey, I'm the greatest thief that ever lived. I ain't concerned about appearances. Anyway, with all that thieving I do, I ain't got time for no baths or nothing. I will see, yeah, completely understandable. Enough said, yeah? Anyway, let me tell you why I wanted to meet with you, Garrett. Yeah, get on with it. I, I got a lot of job offers, you know. You ain't the only merchant in town too uppity to get his own hands a bit dirty. Oh, of course. <clears throat> the object in question is of little monetary value, but has great sentimental meaning to me. It's... The Oran Cross Dagger. Okay. You've probably heard of it. A stylish golden number. And it's currently out of its owner's hands, being scheduled for repairs at Cothran's Armory. Uh, mm. The Oran, uh, uh, a gold. Tavern, terraces, clock tower. We'll golden see if we Dagger, can't find eh? The armory. Mm, sure, I heard of it. I'm mm. Garrett, ain't I? Except it sounds plenty valuable to me. Well, it's not. The money I'll pay you to get it will be twice what it's worth. Anyway, it's one of a kind. You'd be hard-pressed to find a fence who'd manage it for you. All right, all right. Go on. As I said, it's being kept at Coffrin's Armory, in the basement safe. That's where you come in, Garrett. As a master thief, you should have no trouble with it. Once you get it, put it in the donations box outside that Hammerite place, St. Edgar's. I'll leave the payment in the same box. Once I have the dagger. I think that about covers it. All right, Mr. Brent. And don't forget, if you want Garrett-type services, you gotta offer Garrett-type prices. So that's the famous Garrett, huh? I guess he's not as good-looking as I'd heard. Damn it. 
I should have quick saved. Ah. Oh, fantastic. Really great. Fantastic job. Make sure you check on my place tonight, officer. I'm just gonna go here and start. So, all right, Hello, sorry about me. that conversation. Is that you? So, uh, what's going Garrett? on here again? Yeah, that's right. I'm Garrett, master this thief at your service. McFarley uh, said you had a like, job for me. You know, Brent, is it? Indeed, I do. There's still storytelling, there's still um, gameplay, there's still um, plot. What? Like, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I just thought so this you guy's impersonating different. us. That's all. And they, it's, it's he's nothing. Hired to go steal hey, I'm the greatest thief that ever lived. I ain't concerned money. about appearances. There's a lot of different ways we can Anyway, we can with it. all that thieving I do, I ain't out, got time for no bads or nothing. Oh, I see, yeah. Completely um, understandable. Enough said, yeah. Anyway, let me tell you why I wanted to meet with you, Garrett. We yeah, can get on steal with the dagger. I, I got a lot of job offers, you know. Money for it, you so ain't the only merchant in town to and get that, his own if we hands that, a bit we, dirty. We sell the dagger, oh, of course. Be worth as much as the object in question is a little monetary paid. value, but has great sentimental back. meaning to me. So then we can come back later and steal it back from him. And then sell it probably heard of it. A stylish golden number. And it's Again, currently out of, of its owner's hands, this can go being down. scheduled for repairs at Cosmo's uh, Armory. It's kind and of, kind of RPG-esque A golden dagger, respect, eh? You know, that, sure, you know, I heard of it. Well, I'm Garrett, ain't I? Ways can shake except out. it sounds plenty so valuable to me. To how well, it's not. You want to conduct the money I'll pay you to get it will be twice like what it's worth. Anyway, so one of a kind. You'd be hard-pressed to find a fence who'd manage it for you. All right, all right. Go on. As I said, it's being kept at Coffrin's Armory, in the basement safe. That's where you come in, Garrett. As a so, master yeah, thief, you should have no trouble with it. Again, which, Once yeah. you get it, this put it in the donations like box outside part. that hammerite place, St. Edgar's. Kind of I'll leave the payment in the same box. Once I have the dagger. I think that about covers it. All right, Mr. Brent. And don't forget, if you want <laughs> Garrett-type services, you gotta offer Garrett type prices. So that's the famous Garrett, huh? Guess he's not as good looking as I'd heard. Okay, so we knocked him out. And we're gonna go ahead and make a hard save here. See what I'm saying? Like, I love that there are so many other things you can do now. Look at the goals. If we go in our notes, your landlord hiding a thug has been hired to steal a valuable dagger from you know, and put the in the box outside of St. Edgar's. All this great stuff we can do. So, another thing we can do is, um... <coughs> someone see us? So. Are you all right? This guy's coming. You know, I'm gonna go <gasps> over there this time. Is that all he has? I think he had a necklace on too. I kind of want to see if we can grab. Oh no! Where'd it go? Maybe I dropped it. See, I love little bits like that, that they freak out, but then, since they didn't see you take it, they don't assume it's been stolen. Alright, well, okay, so we're gonna quick save again, because we've gotten... What was that? Everybody, settle down! Okay, this guy's annoying me now, if he's gonna start looking around every time there's, like, slight noise. <laughs> gonna knock him out, too. No mercy. It was fun to keep him just there, but uh, I didn't realize opening a door was going to make him freak out. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing I can jump to from over here, so I'm just going to get down. Uh oh. Guy, a little bit more loot. <coughs> D 
don't think he has anything on his person, though, so there's no point in stealing anything else. And I don't think he has anything up there, either. So, alright, so... It's a shame we had to knock out those other people, because I'm trying to keep it quiet. This guy's coming back up here, so we're gonna... He didn't have anything else on him, so there's no Excuse point. me. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that didn't work out too well, but whatever. I guess he's not freaked out by us being here. Nor the oh, this guy's a pagan. Look at that. Just grab that. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and find that armory to steal that uh, thing. And you know what? I think we can get up here. Yeah. Oh, no. We need wall climbing gloves to get that one. And then I think that's how we get into a mission up there later. But we again, we need the wall climbing gloves. So I don't think we can do that right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can't find that armory and steal the uh, steal the dagger. So let's go ahead and save again. This is the cemetery with a single gravestone, because you know that's how it be. Another rust. I forgot how many freaking rust beetles there were, so I'm kind of excited for the faction system to start up because I'm pretty sure I can max those out pretty quick. Something moving. Well, don't see anything moving now. I think we might have to go to the other area of Stone Market to get uh, what we need here. The dagger. Never really happens much. Once in a hundred nights, maybe. <sighs> yeah, it is nice that, much like in the original Thief, you can kind of run up on them like that. You don't have to necessarily be in super stealth mode the entire time, just as long as they don't have time to react. Again, much like the other two. If you're wondering why there's mist coming out of this wall, well, that'll that'll be made apparent later. But uh, you're not losing your mind. There is, in fact, mist rising out of the wall. Oh, come on, Garrett. Don't do it like that. Get up there. Yeah, nothing to see up here. Wish there was. Let's grab another moss arrow while we're at it here. What? I could have sworn I saw one in here. Alright, so maybe nothing. I don't know. Go back here. Quick save again. And I think we're close to where we came in. These guys are chill. Not gonna mess with us. Oh no, yeah, okay, so we're back at this apartment building area. Okay, let's check our map. Okay, so clock tower, terraces yard, come around here, stone market plaza, tavern. We've already done all that, so we're gonna go, yeah, we need to go to the other area to go do that little side quest. So we're gonna go on back this way. And that's the guy's apartment. That's the guy. And that's his apartment. And then down here, if I'm mistaken, yeah, okay, so this is where the tavern is that we came in at the beginning. Alright, so, alright, cool. And this guy's chill. I guess I would like to go to the. Another little side note quest thing. You ready? What? Right now? Yeah, you get the map, right? What else are we waiting for? I don't know. A little time to prepare, I guess. You don't just waltz into a Hammerite cathedral and run around willy-nilly. But that's the beauty of it. Element of surprise. Idiot. It's supposed to be the Hammerites that are surprised, not us. Well, I mean, everyone would be surprised. Isn't that even better? No! No, you and I, we shouldn't be surprised at all. 
We should be prepared, have a plan, know what we're going after and where it is, how many hammers and be around, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, I see your point. I guess. Are you sure you ain't just chicken? My last partner was chicken. Look, we just got the map. Let's study it, come up with a plan. No one's chicken. We know there's gold in there, but we also know there's really big guys in there with giant hammers. This, this is what I like to call a finesse job. Yeah, yeah, finesse. Sounds good. I vote we go in now. Surprise attack. I vote we don't. We need a plan. Finesse. Surprise. And shut up. I'm into finesse. Finesse this burger in my mouth. Doesn't quite work as well as with fitness, but whatever. Oh no, oh, I totally screwed that up. Wow, and that's that's recorded too. It's finesse. Wait. Finesse. Fitness. Yeah, it Touch me again and I'll clean your clock. It doesn't work with finesse. Damn it. Well, that's uh that's reserved that's recorded for posterity. Fantastic. He'll never mess with me again. He'll never mess with anyone again. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna Nobody peek in here. Me and lives and brag about uh, can I peek? Great now. I gotta take out the can take out the torch. Go in here. Someone's made off with it. So check this out. There's a weird uh, Innsmouth type uh, creature from the Black Lagoon over here. Only rat noise. Nothing. <sighs> Sneaky above one. You head sick? Different? Yes. Open cage. Open gravid cage. Gravid won't return under right, to Kushak. So we can actually open this cage up for Gravik. And we will. Because he's going to go wreak havoc. Gravik will wreak havoc. Gravid has thank you, sneaky human. Gravid. Gravid. Oh, no, I'll check this out. And again, this is not scripted. So, you know, who he kills and when he kills and if he dies or if he escapes, it's all it's all uh, based on the systems and AI in the game. Whoa. Okay. We've wasted uh -oh. enough time on this already. We're if someone him. were here, we'd have found him by now. We're gonna go lock him in prison. But yeah, he can sort of act as a distraction and take out guards for you and stuff. We're gonna go in here. But there's also a note, again, foreshadowing. So a lot of the game is totally foreshadowed in this. Yeah, so we have now we have now we have a map to Kershock, which is the uh, ancient city or the undercity or whatever the hell it's called, I forget. I'm already the The Sunken City? I think it's the Sunken City beneath the, the city in the first two games. We have a map to it now. So and again, it's kind of cool that, like, this first little open world segment is actually foreshadowing, like, a ton of stuff in the game. Um, so Black Market Birth is over here, but I don't want to quite go to her yet, so... What we're gonna do... Is... I'm surprised that guard... Typically the guard will kill Gravik. <laughs> you know? And I want to get up there. I think we have to use the wall climbing gloves, but there's, like, a balcony or something up there that are really get to. So we'll figure that out later. It's not the most important thing right now. Ooh, I shouldn't have eaten so much. But what could I tell her? I guess I could say I just don't like mutton. I think it's been a long time since I broke into this door. Just I wish there was a quieter way to open doors. It can get annoying when, like, I don't know. I'm gonna need to silence my phone, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. 
so. Some jewels, some coins. Very nice. So, oh, this is the armory. Great. So, I think that whatever we need is going to be right around in here somewhere. They said it's in the basement in a safe. But this should be the- this looks to be the ground floor. So, I don't know. Maybe there's another way downstairs? We haven't found yet? We're gonna go check it out. Loving this. But yeah, this game really rewards exploration and listening to dialogue and reading notes and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that guard freaked out. He's probably gonna give up on a minute here. Work voucher for Mrs. Eloise Redding. Repair chip and large ruby removed from the brooch for repair work. Uh, to be picked up on Tuesday. Signed Vincent Crowley Stone Cutter. I should have knocked that guy out when I had the chance. Definitely close to the armory, even if it, this isn't it. Thursday. I think I got it all figured out. Cut up the big stone as planned and deliver the package to Milton and Craig. When they look inside, they'll see a bunch of gems and assume they're all there, never guessing I took some. And why not? Their plan doesn't work out without a decent stone cutter. And they won't go to the city watch because they're crooks who stole it in the first place. Friday. Delivered the package. Seemed to go well. Milton was a little tense, but I reckon that's not unusual for a hoodlum. Guess I pulled it off. Saturday. Couldn't sleep last night. What if they look more closely at their share and then come back for me? I'll hide the gems I took until I'm sure I fooled them. No one will look in Terrace's courtyard. Tercy's. Torsi's courtyard will be. I'll stash them at the base of the gargoyle statue, around the back where they can't be easily seen. Ah, I only got something to go check out. Very nice. Actually, this is the balcony I wanted to get up to, and here we are. So yeah, if you had wall climbing gloves, you could have gotten up here. Um, I think a myriad of different ways. Uh, climbing the wall over there to try and get on the pipes and so forth. And So yeah, we're up here. Um, you can break in through the here, or you can break in through the bottom floor, and there's even another door that you can break in through. Very nice. Loving this game. That's what I'm saying. Like, the level design is basically the same, and the mechanics are basically the same. It's just they updated the graphics engine, they added in some new gameplay features, um, and things are a little smaller, but most of the missions are almost as big as they were in uh, Thief 2 and 1. Well, now, we're here in your shop. So, uh, where are the stones, eh, Crawley? They're, um, oh my. <laughs> You know, I, I guess they're I'm not here after here. all. <sighs> Must have slipped your mind. Where'd you put them, I mean? Yes, that's it. It, it, it slipped my mind. Mm, too bad for you. Because unless you got some friends hiding in here, now we gotta kill you. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, suddenly, I remember now. I'll take you there. Too late, Crowley. We gave you your chance. If word got out, we let a weepy little shopkeeper like you. Yeah. Oh my good What's gracious. What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. there. Trespassing. Oh, in the building. In this establishment. Ah. Now you. That didn't work out the way I wanted to, so we're going to go ahead and load. Uh, yeah, load the quick save, I guess. I don't know where that's at. Uh, oh, damn it. Of course. Of course it is. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna even things up a little bit. And I'm gonna use a flash bomb this time. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 
guess it was just, uh, what you call it, a trick of the light. That's the other thing. If you can remember the pattern of a lock, you can click it and pick it real quick. Um, so a couple of things. I'm gonna set up for this. take that one out. We're gonna take this one out. Make another hard save here. Okay, title menu inputs. I think I'm going to try using a flash bomb on him and see if I can't knock them both out. Because that guy may actually reward me. I don't know why that door opened again. are off. Maybe they're broke. What the? Um, I'm gonna go get trash. Damn it. Yeah, like I said, the, uh, things can be a little janky sometimes. Clearly the, uh, I don't know why he could see that. I also like that they somewhat quieted Garrett's footsteps. I mean, it doesn't really change the mechanics of the game, but at least it doesn't sound like you're, uh, wearing, you know, stilettos made out of diamond walking on a marble floor. from under my nose. Achoo. Okay, so he's gonna... Are they gonna restart that conversation? No idea. Seems I won't hurt you. I promise. Seems to have a key or something on him. That? What the heck is that? mouse game. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Obviously, there isn't anyone here. Maybe never was. I wonder if that broke their dialogue thing. I think it did. So we're gonna make another hard save. Ah! I, I can't see! <laughs> Hello? Ah! Was that a joke? Ah! Trying to joke? Trying to get my bearings? Oh, Step aside! Ah! Let me get Try that again. <laughs> yeah, I, what I need is a gas bomb. Of what? What do you want? Excuse me. Uh, what the? What fuck? the Where, I'm blind. I'm off! So we're 
gonna get the fuck out. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I knocked you out, bitch. <laughs> Too much for ya. All right, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Go, go, go. Move. Go. Go. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Totally messed that up. And I don't know, there, again, there was some clipping issue or something. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I kept throwing flash bombs and they weren't detonating. So, thank you, game, for making me waste a million flash bombs. But I saved that guy. I don't know if he's going to care or not. left so we're just gonna make another hard save I get it you're saving the game let me go okay. go around here I'm gonna go get those jewels in the gargoyle or, yeah in front of the gargoyle here There we go. 200 loot. That's fucking awesome. Nice. Okay. Alright. So. Uh, now we're going to go see how badly that's still messed up over there. I have no idea if the, there's still going to be the guards freaking out and running all over. Um, I don't know why he was there. Maybe he... Oh, you know why? Because he heard all the commotion in there. That's why. He's from a different part of the street. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually... We're going to do a quick save. We don't need to hard to save anymore. I'm gonna get the dagger out just in case. I'm trying to avoid using healing items till we stock up on some more. Like that? Got him! Warden says to bring him the pave lock. Well, uh, so, guys, I don't think I've ever actually done this successfully, this part. So we're actually gonna try out pave lock prison. Um, so yeah, if you get killed by the city watch, you don't immediately go to, uh, you don't immediately die, you actually go to Pavlock Prison, so. So we're gonna check our- I'm innocent. I wanna speak to my lawyer. Break out of your cell. Your equipment is locked up in the confiscation depository south of your cell. Get it back. Escape from his locked prison. Cell the blood. So I think but most of our loot should still be in like here. This. So, um, so, it's the infamous Garrett. You may have heard of me, Warden Stout. It's a name you'll soon come to respect. We only let you live so there could be a public execution. And just so you don't get any ideas, no one makes it out of Pavelock Prison alive. The few escapes we've had, well, let's just say they're dead now. Ain't no second chances for escaped prisoners. Nope, we just cut them down in the street. Master thief. So this is interesting. I thought that you could keep coming back here, but no. Uh, if we if we actually do escape, just keep just moving, kill us from here on out. So that's something interesting. We finally got you, Garrett. You've been a thorn to us city watch for a long, long time. Now who's got the last laugh, eh? Oh, I think I know what to do. Oh ho ho, if it ain't Garrett himself. Well, you don't look so clever to me. Personally, I'm hoping you try to escape so as I can kill you myself next time you're spotted. So this is cool. Uh, yeah, and it's it's just a neat little sort of like... You just mind your manners. Almost mini game here. <sighs> yeah, so I've never actually done this, so I think it'll be pretty cool to do this. I think I got caught once a long time ago and I just reloaded the save. So we're just going to make a new hard save in Payblock Prison. Hopefully things will have calmed down out there by the time we have to go back out, so. Uh, hello, Mr. Albright. <laughs> uh, uh, you so much uh, your wife is Now I just uh -oh. need my equipment. Hey, bit of noise over there? See, again, there's some jank going on here. Oh, it's the door, man. I don't know what's up with the guards and the doors in this game. It's a little too much in my opinion. Ah, health potion. I may actually use that one, cause uh, I'm pretty, well. Just a little too eager. Wishful thinking, I guess. Let me see. Actually, I'm at full health now, so. 
think I need it. Can I let other guys out as a diversion? I probably can, knowing this game. I'm gonna go steal our stuff, and then I think I'm just gonna kill every single guard in here, because fuck them. And I hope I get all my loot back, too. If I don't, I'll be pissed. Is there no inventory button? Someone in here? What? Ah, oh, he's pissed. He's got his sword out now. I wonder if that's all my loot. I don't know what he's doing. He needs to chill out. Oh, come on now. I ain't got all night. This is cool. I mean, it's it's fun to play a game you've played a million times and then still find new content. You know, I was just I never liked Don't getting be caught afraid. before. So, but this is cool. I won't hurt you. Nice little inclusion. You come out? Do you? Are you guys ever gonna go out of your alert state? Just kidding. Oh shit! That's why he's in there. He's guarding all my crap. Yeah, he's chilled out now, so he's good. There. He's gonna be pissed that he can't sit down though. Okay. Um, squeeze me. Maybe he's got a key I have to grab. Yeah, he does. Shit. Okay. Twenty-two bottles of beer on the. There we go. I'm gonna save again because once again. It's just who I am and what it's all about. Sounded like a. I think he's chill. Old place like this, and it sure can be noisy. Okay, so. Goblet. No idea what that is. Got that. Uh, I don't think I can check how much loot I have. This has never happened to me before with fucking rat freaking out. Just chill out, you stupid rat. Chill out and go away. So I got some more loot. Probably gonna take this guy out and then his buddy. Okay, so another hard save now that we got our crap. And we've looted all the stuff here. Let's get a blackjack out. It was a free health refill, I guess. Should kill the warden because he was such a dick. So, again, guys, you always. I, I'm sure there are some people like, why does he save every five step? Because I don't have to redo stuff all the time. I'm trying to get through this. Confiscation Depository, Finn Carter, one boot, probably stolen, Shelly Laster, hairbrush, bottle of perfume, Simon Dorset, few silver coins held in safe, Court Beasley, one gentleman's wallet, empty, Daryl Pinkett, a bottle of cheap wine, Jack Albright, one bottle of fine wine, held in safe, 
Garrett thieving equipment. Now, if I've lost all my loot, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed. And we're just gonna reload that old save. But uh, in the event that we haven't lost all our loot, then I think. Enjoy it. Have fun in there. Are there any sparkly bits in these guys' cells? Sparkly things that I can take. Can I even open? No. I can. Okay. I can probably cause a diversion like that then. There's nothing in here, which means there's probably treasure or something. Right? Right, little rat? No. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. Alright. Stay out of the lick it. The lick hit. I'm gonna go up here. No idea what's up here. I do want to get that warden, though. Smug ass warden. And then I'll free all the... I don't know if you guys can hear this in the soundtrack, but there's like lots of groaning and screaming and it's very unsettling. Did I just... Is that the word? Hmm. Huh? Must not have been anything. Help you, don't worry. I'm gonna toss this guy down here, though. Come on, Gary, you can move faster with the body, please. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. So picky. There we go, just that's fine. For now. What we'll do is we'll go straight to the uh, Heartless Perry to determine if we still have all our loot or not. That 200 in gems should show up pretty easily. It's a noisemaker. Oh, that reminds me. We're gonna check our inventory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Five. Okay, yeah. So we're good. Does anybody have anything in here? Let's still. Does she have anything? Like a pouch or a ring or. An no. Okay, so. Also, guys, I'm using the uh, hard saves because uh, I have a quick save right before I went through the uh, dusty door. So, I, you know, in case we want to just not do this, we might go back and do that. And I'll just heal up and uh, get in a knife fight with that one guard. Take him out. Because I don't think anyone else will care. Although they may freak out and get into combat with me. So it's up left... Or up right left. Almost like a huh. It's actually a bit creepy. It's a bit like well, um, guess it's nothing. Shellbridge cradle. It's honestly really cool to see all this stuff that I have never seen before. In my wildest... In my wildest... Okay, 
so we're gonna go ahead. I am gonna just hit the quick save because whatever. Annoying. Thank you. There's nothing. Oh, that's in case I want to hide from him. Okay, so I'm gonna take his body. I'm gonna go this way. You can hang out with your buddy over here in the alcoves. The alcove twins. Uh -uh. Don't worry, I'll come back for everybody later. I just want this place locked down and secure. Is that a ladder? Yeah, it's a ladder. What are they doing in this place? This place is uh, not great. Thunderdome. Oh, great, I got an oil flask. Burst on impact, creating a puddle of oil. Opponents who move over the oil will slip and fall. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, you know, here's the thing. I rarely, if ever, used those in the previous playthrough, but now I think I'm going to mess with some of these cool things a little bit more. All right, who we got in here? Looks like water. Oh, you know what I probably could have done is put a noisemaker and, uh... Really? Did I just trap myself in here? Oh my god. Well, that... That's just rude. That's just so rude. Well, good to know. You wanna come out, buddy? I guess not. It's just gonna close again in a second. Watch out. With uh, a fair bit of drink. I think it's because it was clipping on the sword. You know. Still so much to go. Wow, this is pretty. This, this, this is no joke. Level. Oh shit, that was not what I. God damn it. Right, I'm gonna kill this bitch. Fuck you. Spit on me. Save again. Got some water arrows. I just need to know how to cancel an arrow. Really? I missed the old cancel arrow button. You miss scouting orbs, those are pretty cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got the warden. <laughs> Fuck you. I can hear you. Soon I'll find you too. No, you won't. Show me to test one of these out. Show yourself. You're making this more difficult than needs me. Oh, come on, man. Well, I didn't quite throw it in the right spot. It, yeah, I was trying to get in the middle of the floor here. Must have got right out of here after what he'd done. Ah! Not like any noise I ever Just heard. Just go, run, run, go. Look clumsy. <laughs> oh! Aha! Oh! That didn't really work. Oh! Right. I thought he would get knocked out if he fell. Well, that was pretty cool. I can make him fall. It's pretty neat. Both of you. So I'm saying, like, some people are like, the dagger's useless. What are you talking about? It's way more useful than the sword. It doesn't take that many hits. Ah, I didn't see that there was a ladder over here. I probably should have guessed that they would have had multiple ways to get up here. Let's grab that, read this. Warden Stout. This quarantine has my precinct and... Precinct and... Precinct. Precinct and shambles. Would appreciate some extra men if you cannot spare them. Especially at the gates to Stone Market and docks. At the gates to Stone Market and Docks. The quarantine mustn't fail. Send the men soon. We're counting on you. By the way, how's that gouty foot? My man says they come from too frequent bathing for what it's worth. Captain Blaine, Fort Sewell. Oh, uh, that's a reference to Benny. Uh, one of the previous games where he says, uh, uh, Lots of ailments could be avoided if only we didn't bathe so frequent like. So. And. Ah, oh, come on. It would have been a great fire arrow or something to grab. Nice. Candles. I wonder if I slip if I go through the woods. Like, let's see. I hope I have super high friction shoes. Yeah, they can stay there for all I care. <clears throat> Alright, now we're gonna see if this is the actual. Hello. So, ooh, look at this. Ah, a way out. Okay, we'll probably be taking that route. But. Exit to street. Looks like there's a guard here. Yeah, okay, so we're not taking that one. We are gonna let everybody out. Now. Let's go. We're we're leading a prison escape. It's Bastille Day, guys. Vive la city. There's gotta be a button. Options. Inputs. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Oil flask, holy water, gas bomb. Quick save, quick work. Zoom in, zoom out, map, clear. Probably clear weapon. Let's go ahead and try it. And. Nope, you're committed. Let's just check one more time, because that's insane. Are you serious? Blackhead, broadhead. 
change perspective, previous item, previous weapon, crouch, wall flatten, bow, zoom. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look it up online, maybe. Let's go ahead and save. I'm gonna let everybody free. So, uh, I'm gonna have to send a thank you in the comments, uh, to whoever pointed that out, that you can actually get out of that glitch by, uh, knocking an arrow. Good to know. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, alright, that's the place, this is the whole place. Alright, sweet. So, let's start letting people out. Come on, it's prison break. Start acting like it. Get away from me. Which Would have been kind of cool to see what would happen. I mean, I, I think the guards would have just not killed him. A little hiding spot. <laughs> I didn't expect him to do that. Can you get out of my way? Can you get out of my way? Wait! No need to resort to violence, right? Can you, dude? Get out of my way, bro. Give me a break, will you? Can't seem to find a there way out. There you go. Just have to shake at them a lot. Shake it like a polio. Sure. Stinking joint. Really, you couldn't figure out how to get through the other door? Gotta be. This guy too. Yeah, the way is me. This is the way. <laughs> she is like a bull in a china shop. Oh my god, that was great. Warren Spectre games, they're never going to be perfect, but they are going to be interesting, at least. Come on out. Is there any loot? No. Come on, buddy. Let's go, we can all be free. Again, this all really highlights, you know, something that Warren Spector is very, you know, passionate about, is the idea of player-authored stories, you know? Having all these systems so that not only can you sort of create your own stories, but unexpected things are going to happen every time you play the game. Um, you know, just the ability to lead, like, a prison revolt is pretty cool. Save. We just gotta make it to our fence. We can do like this. Wait for him to go past. Definitely don't want to get caught again. <sighs> Out there How was second. your day? All right then. Because I was like, oh crap, is he gonna? Did I accidentally press the wrong button? Been robbed. He has been robbed. All right, let's go this way. Let's go back into black market. Now I better see a like a ton of loot and also those 200 gems. If I still have those, then I'll be pretty confident that we're okay. And I might need to rebuy some water arrows because I'm a little light on water arrows right now. And uh, I guess everyone that we knocked out is alive again, so. What's the word on the street? I need some good news for a there change, There we go, handful Gareth. of gems, ruby, jade goblet, ruby goblet, copper net. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, we still have all of our stuff. Did you hear about the quarantine? City Watch ain't telling what it's about, but I got my... Okay, 
so we did that now we're gonna go over here and stock up on water arrows if possible are we looking for anything special tonight sir no, that sounds about glad right. we could be of service I'll just get to we hope five you find everything nice you need number. with this quarantine we're cut off from our regular suppliers studio. for a while all right and uh, how's my health All right, so we are looking good, actually. We're gonna go back to quick saves for the time being. Escape from Pavelock Prison. And hopefully all of the ruckus that we caused in some of those other districts has calmed down a bit. I don't know if these goons are gonna be alive again now that we have to take out again. We'll see. Seems good so far. What is this fountain? South Quarter Fountain. Near this site, the first stone was believed to have been laid in the building of the city. good. Now I did take out a bunch of guards over here. I hope they're still gone, but if they're not, oh well. So I would like to go to Stone Market Plaza. Okay, so back around this way. Well, that's still open, so I, it looks like everything we did in the world up until this point has been saved. So, that sucks though, because I hope that guard isn't like ready to pounce on us again, because we need to get over there. So, let's go ahead and quick save again and try it. Yes, I would. Ah, someone's ah. looking for trouble. That's a little annoying. Okay, okay, you've... Ah. You should have left when you had a chance! Oh! What? what? Where, where is... What? Oh. Oh. He's dead. Kind of Guards, a handsome here. thing. Over here. What a waste. Catch him before he robs me. I don't know if they're gonna hurt me or not, so we're gonna make a hard save and see what happens. Just testing out all the game systems right now. Although I can probably sneak by this guy anyways. Yeah, he's not gonna hurt me. He's just freaked out about the guard. Yeah, I'll come back to him later. And Cut that out, now. Taffer. Pretty chill. This lady, yeah, she's got stuff. A chew. What? Why is there a guard all of a sudden? Did they respawn him for no fucking reason? God damn it! What's going on? Street. Don't you mean? Leave me alone. What? Where'd you come from? Uh, I have some place I have to be. Hey! Someone's broken in. Everybody leave me alone. God, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Just want everyone to calm down. Aha. Get ready to die. Oh, is he gonna fight the guards? Thank Christ. Can you get I hope you guys can hear all that commotion in the streets. That's awesome. had a burger earlier. It was delicious, but man, I think there was a lot of salt in it because uh, my tongue is actively mummifying as we speak, so. A lot of water here. All right. stuff that we need. Just close it. <laughs> just kill myself with the safe. That would be great. Just 
worried about that guard because this he's guarding this building and this is where we need to be to steal that dagger so he's gonna come back soon so quick save and uh, see what we can see if you'll notice combat is a little more viable in this one um, I think that would oh wow look at the fucking massacre out here holy shit again I didn't do this this was all the AI's fault uh -uh. They just decided to freak out and have a fight. But that was pretty cool, you know, getting the systems to fight like that, and then I can clear out the street. It's a little sad that everyone had to die. Holy shit, that was a big fight. Oh my god. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and make a hard save again, because I'm actually gonna poke my head out and um, try and collect some stuff down the street here. Saw something else sparkle, yeah. Diamond over here, I always remember that. To the old quarter, I like the old quarter. I think, if I'm thinking of the right place. That's to Bertha's house. Oh, okay. Not again. God damn it, no, no, no. I am not gonna play that game right now. I'm not All doing clear. it. I'm gonna now scurrying about. Very quiet and get the hell out of here. Also, I think it's about time that we used one of these. <clears throat> okay, finally. Also, yeah, if you'll notice up there, I think you need wall climb. Yeah, you're gonna need wall climbing gloves, but if you want that gas arrow. Um, so that's another way that they sort of keep progression in check to some extent so that you're not totally overpowered in the beginning. It's like, yeah, it's there, and technically you could try and get it, but it's really blocked behind access to things like wall climbing gloves, so... I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if they keep repopulating the map with more AI or whatever. Of course. Or maybe she just came downstairs and saw all the bodies. I have no idea. I think this is I all I wanted to do is save this guy, I think, right? You know, a fella got robbed around here last week. I think I'm just gonna knock everyone out because I'm tired of dealing with all this crap. What are you playing at? Uh oh! What are you playing at? I'm just gonna God damn it. Alright, this totally got out of hand. <laughs> this got completely out of control. Because the AI is, like, freaking out right now. <laughs> oh, man. I do... I, part of me remembers that if if you go through a door and then you come back, like, everything is... The the world state is, is the same. But another part of me remembers um, everything being chill when you came back. Like, you, you would reset everything. So I really don't know. But I'm just gonna try and steal the thing I came for, go back, go to Black Market Bertha, and progress the plot because I think I fucked up things enough. I love how I was talking earlier about, yeah, I'm gonna try and ghost as much of this as possible. <laughs> oh, how naive I was. I was doing okay stealth wise until that. I was trying to save that guy because I felt like, oh, there might be a reward or something for saving him. He'll remember me. Wait a minute. I was in the safe. All I got was coins, which means I didn't get the dagger yet. There needs to be a way to look up your loot. Actually, you know what? There might be a button. Your uh, loot. There we go. Gilded helm, copper ring, jade necklace, ruby necklace, bloodline, opal, copper. No, I didn't get the I didn't get the dagger yet. So I still gotta steal that.
just because the AI has been freaking out. I just need them out of the equation right now as much as possible. I believe you can get up here with wall climbing gloves. So that's why some of this stuff is here. There we go. They said it was going to be downstairs in the state in the safe. All right, so I have the golden Excuse me, I have the golden dagger. And uh, now we're just going to make our way to the uh Okay, Garrett's running weird. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's yeah, very weird. I'm going to go see what happened to that guy that I was trying to save. So much blood. sure he saw me. I don't know if everyone's freaking out right now. We'll see. Hmm. Funny that. No, he's still alive. Okay, so I saved him. I just, uh... Yeah, he's got a key or something. <gasps> Where's the damn watchman? God damn it. Seriously? Uh -huh. uh, He's now, over here. Uh, okay, where's the oh god, did I not when was that last quick save, please? Oh no. Ugh. I think I was just getting a little impatient there. Uh, this guy's not dead yet, so shh that was a ways a while ago. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna just do this. This and then go back here, and we're not gonna mess with anything over here. I don't need those healing potions right now. I think they'll be there later, anyways. So I'm just gonna go through here. Did we steal from the safe yet? We did. All right, let's go up here. Get this. Try and remain stealthy. And I gotta knock that stupid guy out because uh, and take his key. I don't know what the key is for, but I feel like it might come in handy later. Or it won't, I don't know. I'll try quick saving now. Don't want another cascade of AI freak out. dagger now. Now let's go ahead and see something. So we're gonna go to gear, loot. Yeah, so it's not in our loot, so okay, yeah, you, okay, so we can't sell it instead of, you know, uh, whatever, like, if that's not an option. We have to, uh, pretty much... Looks like everyone's calmed down quite a bit, so... We're gonna go back downstairs and see. Now that we have the dagger, we're gonna go see what we can do. I've always remembered that one street being a bit of a problem, especially if they decide to populate it with too many AI. I should just feel lucky, I guess, that the killer didn't get me too. Really? What the f- What in the- Hey, something over there. Oh. Yeah, this is, uh... This is not working out. <laughs> Why is that door open? Why does the guard go all the way back there? I don't think I want to loot that guy's, uh... 
whatever that key is for. I can get it later when this, things have calmed down. I saved him. Maybe that's good enough. If I wasn't here anymore, I mean, what would be the point? See if she freaks out because I'm here. I see you there. Yeah, they do. You're gonna be in I'll big trouble stay when calm. I get back with Let's some help. be reasonable. Who's that? Oh, stay away. Here we go. Garrett. Oh no, I can't girl. believe it's you she in got, my store. She's got a crush store. on you. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I'm Marla. Marla Madison. Used to be a thief myself. Maybe you heard uh. of me or. Mm, but oh, you probably just want to shop. So it's not really supposed to work like that. Uh, I don't think I've ever had an AI cascade fuck up like that ever in this game. But uh, well, looky, looky, you must be Garrett. Somehow I expected somebody taller. Doesn't matter. I'm Black Market Bertha. Glad to meet you. Perry said to expect you. Said you'd have an opal for me. I'm sure we can do business. I got the best stone cutters in the city waiting to cut it up, as a matter of fact. All right, so. Let's go ahead and sell all. This is some hot. Nice. Mm, this is a damn fine opal. One of a kind. I bet it came from one of those old noble houses. Am I right? Never mind. It ain't my business how you came to have it. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here, a gentleman left this letter for you. Don't you worry, I didn't read it. It ain't my business, is it? So, Black Market Birthday. And I also like in this game how, uh, you know, the city, it's sort of a fantasy medieval type city, but not everybody has British accents. There are a lot of American accents in here. And I love that she's doing sort of a, a New York tough, street tough accent here or something like that. So, um, again, sort of there's there's very much noir themes, especially Garrett's uh, monologues um, in Thief. And uh, this, this sort of reinforces those. So I really like them. Must speak at uh, Tercy's Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza. Now, is she gonna freak out again? I can help! see you! I'm gonna go get help Damn right it. now! I hope they calm down when I come back here later, you know? Because uh, I was trying to keep things kosher. What's that? What the bloody? God damn it. What's no, going on alone. over there, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, without any AI resets, this can be very, very difficult sometimes. Uh, just trying to get around. And quite honestly, I don't really know what's going on because uh, I don't remember it being this bad. It could be because of the, you know, perhaps AI wouldn't freak out as much in the original release because they were more bugged, and so the uh, the sneaky upgrade patch actually makes them more... Uh, and this is another reason why I didn't... Okay, hold on, guys. I don't like being followed. Cryptic notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. That's keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help, right? But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... my choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure your Keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett?
Yeah, Garrett does the Batman thing. <clears throat> okay, Garrett, these are the objects that you must acquire. The chalice, a rel relic of the Hammerites. It's kept in St. Edgar's Church in Stone Market proper. The Jackknoll's Paw, a possession of the pagans. They have constructed secret tunnels beneath the South Quarter Well. We believe the Paw to be there somewhere. Meet back in Tercy's courtyard. Two knights, I have faith in your abilities. Okay, so, this is the, these are the two missions that we start with. So the next two missions. Now, what I'm gonna do, actually, is since we have that golden uh, dagger, I'm gonna try and do the pagan church one first, St. Edgar's Cathedral, because the uh, tithing box right outside the, uh, the cathedral is where I'm supposed to drop the dagger. But I'm worried that all the enemies are still aggro, so I'm gonna get a flash bomb out, and then I'm also gonna go ahead and make a hard save here and see what we can do. Um, now I don't think he knew exactly where I was, so we're gonna see about this aggro. Yeah, see, I was right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wall flatten right here until everyone chills out. So you know what I'm gonna do? Did you really think I wouldn't see you? Stupid taff. I need that out so I can move around. Glad to see you. I think that's why at some I'm point sure. I started getting more afraid of like dealing with citizens and stuff because oh, Jesus. And I also think that they keep uh, respawning guards, no matter how many you kill. I know I saw someone. So I just know it. The streets are never. And I can't waste any more time looking for what ain't there. Oh, I lost my train of thought. I was gonna, I was gonna make a point about the game earlier, before the cutscene started. Really? I couldn't pickpocket that screw you game. If you dressed better, you'd get more respect. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my inventory for the golden okay, the gold well, the golden dagger's just gone, so so I put it there. So we should be good. Also, I'm gonna see if I can steal this guy's map. There we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is where the Hammerite fanatics keep the chalice, a so-called holy relic. It's what the keepers are asking me to steal if I want to see their prophecies for myself. The chalice might not be worth much on the street, but every Hammer church has a nice pile of wealth stashed away. No reason not to fill my pockets while I'm here. This particular temple holds the crypt of some long-ago Hammerite hero, Saint Edgar. Today was his holy day, so there's an all-night service. That might work in my favor if they're all sitting down praying, instead of looking for sinners to smite. Chances are they'll have anything they think is holy locked up pretty tight. I'll have to make sure they don't do the same to me. I'm not interested in the Hammerite brand of justice. I see you there. Let's do this. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> Hope I don't die while I'm in the loading screen here. All right, so objectives. Break into St. Edgar's Church, find and steal the Builder's Chalice. Once you've completed all your objectives, return to your entry point, the front courtyard. Sounds easy enough. All right, let's go ahead and start. Oh, I love this cutscene.
are in St. Edgar's Cathedral, and we need to steal the chalice. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and I was gonna, I was going to say earlier, I don't remember what the original point I was going to make was, but one of the points I was going to make was you can definitely tell that uh, they had some budget issues towards the end of making this game because, um, you know, you have those really beautiful, you know, uh, animated cutscenes, like the one we just watched, you know, juxtaposed against, like, some of the cutscenes are in-engine with two characters just talking, and the, you know, the graphics look terrible, so... I just don't know. Uh, yeah, so it, it is kind of a... I got his key. I'm just going to knock him out. We've had too much trouble with the AI freaking out. <laughs> this might be a little... I mean, I turned the brightness up, so it might be a little dark. I don't know what's going on here, but we'll see. See how it goes. Oh, I remember the point I was going to make earlier. Yeah, so because of these AI cascade, like, fuck-ups, that's actually one of the reasons why um, uh, we're still playing on, like, normal difficulty. Because on a higher difficulty, these problems would probably be exacerbated. I like this mission. This is like a really good, solid mission. Um, that's the other thing I like about this game. Pretty much all the missions are really solid. I can't think of any that I just absolutely hate. Um, actually, the pagan one we're going to do next, I'm not super thrilled about. It's not my favorite, but uh, but yeah. I'm going to have to... Did they automatically turn the brightness down again? It seems a little dark. I mean, not for me. It's fine for me. I'm just, you know, everything you upload to YouTube is like th five shades darker. The condemned man spake upon his day of execution to the brethren. I am innocent. Do not cut off my head on this day. A wise brother tested the man, saying, If thou art innocent, thou canst set thy soul to rights by reciting the builder's holy prayer. Fearful, the condemned man spake. But I am too afraid to remember. I cannot, the wise brother replied. Fear never visits the innocent man. Even if thou art innocent of crime, thou art surely guilty of heresy. A righteous death shall cleanse thee of sin. So was the condemned man's head left cleft from his body. And was... I didn't... Damn it. Gotta go back. And was... Oh, okay. And was innocence visited, visited upon him that day. Some world building here. It just they're just letting you know what kind of people you're dealing with with the keepers here. I may turn up the brightness a skosh, I don't know. Yeah, look at that dynamic shadow right there. That's just beautiful. Even though the geometry of the statue is not that great, it's still, it's still pretty good. Oh yeah, we have to ring this, uh, but we have to figure out how many times. Yeah, I'm going to turn it up because you guys aren't going to be able to see anything on YouTube. I'll put it up to seven. Which, I, well, it seems a little high. Why don't we do six? So I don't think the game adjusted. I think this is just a dark level. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a hard save, too, after all that nonsense in the streets. Oh, it's going to get fun later, too, guys. Don't worry. It's going to get real feisty later. I hope I can get to him before he moves. I didn't see this statue here. Yeah, it is pretty dark, uh, and I guess he died from interacting with the statue. That's fantastic. 
Well, like I said, I, I wasn't necessarily going for a no-kill run or anything. I do like doing the backstabs in this game. They're super satisfying, especially on that warden. I hated him. Looks like they're doing some sort of ceremony down there. So I gotta watch out. <sighs> As I said before, uh, guards carrying light sources was an interesting in in inclusion in this game. Um... Because it did change up the gameplay a bit. This should be okay. Funny thing is, you can spend quite a bit of time in the city, and then some of the missions don't actually turn out to be super long. But yeah, I think the the one that we're gonna do next with the pagans that's not super great. The abysmal gale is okay. Builder, I mean, it's it's zombies, but strength for mine arm, to smite thy enemies in thy little sermon down here and for thy purpose. Builder, grant me protection from the evil of the trickster, from the malice of those who would follow him in their dark forest. So shall the Master Builder keep and watch over us. So shall his forge scorch the unrighteous and burn away all that which is impure and of the earth. So shall his blessed servant, Saint Edgar, serve as the messenger to his power. Praise to thee, Lord Builder, and praise to thee, Saint Edgar, thou who didst drink from the chalice and cleanse the land of unworthy in thy righteousness. As thou hast directed, Master Fortier Gretus, my brethren shall summon thee as they retire from their works. Tis well, but make sure tis done in a timely fashion. Last month, several brethren sounded the bell far too late in the eve. If I spy any brother late at his work, shall I then tell him he needs must receive thy blessing and tarry no longer? <laughs> Okay, let's go to our objectives and look at the notes. The high priest hears the church bell. He will leave his room and go to the church to bestow a blessing. I think that will become important later. I can't remember exactly why. I think he locks himself in his room and he needs his key or something. Something to that effect. Yeah, I don't think this is no 12-hour game. We've been playing for a little while now. But then again, I'm doing every last little thing. I think completion is my this game is definitely. No, nothing behind there. I will tell you this: I am going to be striving for 100% loot as often as possible. And so did the son come unto his father, and saith he. Woe unto me, for hath I nothing to eat, Father, give me that which I need. And so didst his father give him his iron chisel, and saith, and saith he, Go into the world, builder, grant thee the fruits of thy... Yeah, sorry, <laughs> uh, grant thee the fruits of thy labor. The next day did the son come unto his father, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I can do not with this chisel, Father, give me that which I need. And the father didst give him a hammer of fine wood and metal, and saith, Go into the world, and Builder, grant thee the fruits of thy labor. And so did the son return, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I cannot eat these, I cannot use these to catch fish or gather crops. Father, give me that which I need. And the father didst cleave the begging hand from his son, and saith he, The Builder hath granted thee the fruits of thy labor, which is not. Some hard line motherfuckers here. But that's why we love them. 
I think one of the reasons I'm sort of I, I started getting into 40k is the blind ridiculous fanaticism of like the builders is very much like uh, humanity in 40k um, which just brings a uh, a smile to my face because I love this game and I love the lore of this game Open this. This is locked. So. Cleanse the land this night. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Let the builder cleanse my- oh. Nice. Nice and clean. Maybe this corner. I hear some talking over there. Let's go over here. Very good. Also, how's our health doing? That's all right. Could be better, could be worse. Get another bowl here. Go to the pulpit. The glory of St. Edgar. Twas the dawning of the last day of battle, and St. Edgar didst see that his forces had but a few men left, hale and unwounded. Then didst he kneel before the chalice, and didst give entreaty to and didst give entreaty to the builder to gift him with death to his foes, or his own death. If it be thy will that the foe shall fall, grant me thy strength to seek victory for thee. If it be thy will that the foe overcome, give me my, give me death by thy will now. For the foe shalt not have it. Then he supped from the chalice, and didst light and glory fill his limbs, and the foe fell as winter before the spring. And St. Edgar gave praise to the builder, and didst he walk amongst the wounded and captured enemy, and didst he give them sup from the chalice, and they were consumed utterly by the fire of the builder's forge, and the dead were beyond counting. That St. Edgar shall be praised above praise, and gloried above glory was his visage graven and sculpted, sculpted in purest gold, that all who saw it should also know the glory of that day and the value of his deeds. All righty then. Brothers, High Priest Greedus doth keep the holy symbol now in his chambers. The holy symbol of the Master Forger hath the imprint of the Builder's Grace direct from blessed St. Edgar. Tis the mark of leadership and hath many other uses. Pray for he who shoulders this burden, High Priest Greedus. Definitely excited for playing Lady Moira's Mansion. I think that is my favorite. One of my favorite of all time, thief levels. It's actually, I don't think it's that far away from this one. Brethren must receive the yeah we already said yeah same letter. Wait no it isn't. All brethren must receive the blessings of high priest Greedus before morning. When thou seekest thy blessing, summon Greedus with the chapel bell. Until thy own flesh is purified, speak not to Greedus with thine own tongue, but use instead the iron tongue of the bell, forged and purified in flame, to speak for thee. Okay, so if I want to summon the priest, I have to ring the bell. We were just at the bell, but I'm going to clear out the compound a little bit more. 
as we've discovered, the city walking around the city can actually be quite a bit more difficult than a lot of the missions, depending on what's going on. Okay, what is in here? It's like a storeroom of some kind. Okay. Bottom floor of the church. Oh, there's a way up there. That's so weird that they, it would let you get up here, there from here, because uh, this is, um... You're not gonna have access to climbing gloves yet at this point in the game, so... Very strange. Right. It's a tough section coming up here. I think the barracks, yeah, is pretty tough. High priest greeteth the, the, the yeah, we are, that's the one we already read. How dost thou be? Good evening. Hath thou heard? Master Forger Greedus hath called to all the master forgers of the church that he shall drink from the builder's chalice. Oh, Tis madness! The chalice hath been barred for these past fifty years, since Master Forger Alibus didst drink and did burn unto death. Tis the Master Forger's wish to call upon all other Master Forgers to drink as well, that he may show himself both brave and righteous. His pride speaketh so, and not his righteousness. And tis dangerous to bring the chalice forth. Twas the means by which so many pagans died. They shouldst well like to destroy it if they hadst but the means. Ha! <laughs> Let the pagans come. And we shall strike them down as we didst in St. Edgar's time. Okay. I'm gonna try and take one of these. Homies. Hey! Oh, damn it. Me. God damn it. Why do I never quick save as soon as people are done talking? Well, hold on, guys. I actually. Um. To the yeah, we're gonna. Where's the last quick save? Uh, it's quite a ways back. Alright, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I have to run to the. Lavatory, real quick. So, I'm just give me a second here. It was, yep. And then just. Alright. So, we're gonna go over here. Start the convo. And then I'm actually gonna wall flatten right here. And, uh, you guys might have to watch it again, but, uh, whatever. So, I'll be back. Give me a second. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. <coughs> Yeah. 
Okay, we are back. And actually, I'm just gonna check something. Okay, still recording. Looking good, so I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> For reals, Doug. What? Heathens and miscreants. Oh, great master builder. Hey! Someone uh, thinks himself so uh, very uh, clever. Someone meddling with the torch. Let's we'll see if I can get away with this. I don't think I can. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to sneak by these guys, actually. Damn. Keep Let's thou looking, everybody. brother. Yeah, he's gonna get there. Me. Yeah. Thou hast looked. All right. Okay, we get it. We get it. <sighs> How dost thou well, be? Well. Hath thou heard? Master Forger Greedus hath called to all the Master Forgers of the Church that he shall drink from the Builder's Chalice. Tis madness! The Chalice hath been barred for these past fifty years, since Master Forger Alibus didst drink and did burn unto death. Tis the Master Forger's wish to call upon all other Master Forgers to drink as well. He may show himself both brave and All right, so yeah, we're just gonna sneak past these, so, and not his past these mad lads. It is dangerous to bring the chalice forth. Right. The means and... by which so many pagans died, they should well like to destroy it if they has but the means. <laughs> Let the pagans come, and we shall probably take this guy who's walking around out. Coming down this way. It is poorly made to flicker and die so easily. Oh, it's coming around here. Okay. Uh, sound it is a come. very strange noise. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sure. Walking into objects and stuff. So this guy's coming around. Uh, that guy's it is not but peace. I don't know where he's going. I have let myself jump at naught. Out so well. Let's make some hard saves. I don't want to get lose too much progress here. He's coming up here. I don't know what he wants up here though. You're not supposed to come down here or up here. Try not to get seen, please. He's just circling. I was afraid of that. Where are you going? Okay. So let's take this guy. Put him up here. Oh my god, the clipping. So many clipping. I'm gonna have to move that guy's body. Damn. He's out again? Vexing torch. Alright, let's just make a quick save. Try and take out this dude. Side of the door, so we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna drop these two guys off because I need those pathways clear. And I wish I could take out the light source here, but I can't. 
This is not the best place to put him. I don't really want to put him here. We're going to put him here. Because I need that way clear. I'm having a blast right now, and I really don't know why people at the time are like, it's not a thief. Like, this, it feels so much like a thief game. Oh, thank God. I got gas bombs, finally. Okay. Gas bomb. Okay. Brother Partis, I have gleaned what information I could about these volumes. Homilies of Jeremites Illustrated. Priory of the Forge. Glendower Volume. Missing in Karis's Upheavals. Glory of, Glory of St. Edgar. Damaged but legible. Codex of the... Admonitions, a gold-bound and valuable text stored in the prayer room on the west side of the church top floor. Yeah, look, reference to Thief 2, very nice. Very good. Um, once again, a weird candle that you can't... Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter because there's an electric light here, so they, they probably just figured, like, eh, who needs to code it? Who cares? But uh, still, it would be nice. Oh, yes. Hiding out behind the statues, are we? A breeze carrying our salvation. Here at last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet, yet also with okay, so I can finally take that guy out because he's in love. But I'm not going to use this elevator right now, it makes too much noise. Yeah, the radius for how far the noise tr that you make while running travels is, uh, I wouldn't say it's greatly reduced, but it's not too bad in this one. No, no, there's no use. I wonder if anyone hit any loot in the, the old latrine. No. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take that guy out. Start yeah, you just got it. You know, this one it's got a little jank. It's it, it feels a little different than the others. So you just gotta kind of get used to the differences and how it plays. Save again. This guy is a priest. I didn't even look at the loot uh, objective because I, I'm planning on getting 100% anyways, or close to it. Nice, Effigy of St. Edgar. We did take... Another pagan today, the wretch had no the wretch had no dignity. His screams did summon forth a crowd of gawking onlookers as he was carried inside. But I did note the flower peddler nearby, that she showed not vacant curiosity, but more intent concern. I shall have her taken and put to the question in the next sweep. Mine thoughts turn again upon the prisoners. Tis proper work they be put to work. No, oh, tis proper they be put to work, but canst still be proper to work them past the point of honest effort, that they die of the labor and rise as the accursed undead, still hadst they been faithful to would never have come to such a pass. So apparently if you work the pagans to death, they come back as zombies. Huh. Who'd have guessed? All right, very nice. Another big piece of loot there. I love stealing paintings. I don't know why, I just it's so satisfying. That would be the door, so we don't need to open that because we know where it goes. Hold the potion. I'm gonna make a hard save because we.
we've been getting a lot of good stuff done. I don't want to screw up our... I don't want to bet it all on a single quick save. Okay, what am I going to do about this guy? Too many electric lights. We just saved, so let's Let's go. see what Greedus has been up to. Builder, keep thee. I think he's stuck in the doorway, which is kind of bad news. But you know what we can do? Let's try this. So I'll quick say real quick first, because I think Brother Greedus is the one stuck in the doorway. So what we're gonna do? All right, let's load the save again, because I don't want to waste two gas bombs if we don't have to. Uh, yeah, load game, please. There's nothing like having a really nice control setup that just works for you. Who dost sneak up? Dude, aiming these things is like an exercise in futility. Alright, let's try first person, shall we? Builder, go with thee, brother. It is my own bird. Oh. That works. Yeah, these are way overpowered. You can take out, like, you can throw a noisemaker, get seven guards clumped together, and then just take them all out. So I will be stocking up on these. Not because I just want OP stuff, but just in the event that I need something like this. Okay, I got the holy symbol, so I didn't need to, like, use the whatever to lure him away or, or whatnot. High Priest Greedus, praise be thou, and Brother Roland hath secured the chalice in the factory. Praise be. Thou- okay, yeah, praise be. Commas, bro, commas. Praise be, thou and brother Ronan hath secured the chalice in the factory. I hath destroyed the stamped gear as instructed. Another canst be made in the stamping machine, but even the stamped gear is not without the holy, thy holy symbol to open the cage. Both must be used to activate the mechanism. Thus, while the symbol rests in thy chambers, surely our relics can be no safer, brother Thorgrim. Okay, well, I could have lured him away with a uh, thing, but we're gonna do this. <laughs> We're gonna do this, Garrett. Garrett, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell. I feel like uh, Peter Griffin trying to pick up that uh, dead frog with the shoebox right now. Let's try this. Yeah. How was that easier? Oh my God! Is there stuff up here? Oh, if there's stuff up here. Yes. Yes. Secrets. Oh, I love secrets. Very nice. Where does this lead? Sometimes it's almost easier in first person, some of this stuff. I would, you know what? I might have thought to climb up here, but that would have been way easier. That's still pretty cool. But I think I can get a jump on that guard out there now. Because again, we're trying for 100% loot, lads, so we want to make sure, and lassies. Speaking of which, my wife and I are potentially interested in moving to Ireland. Just as a quick aside, that might be pretty cool. Master Forger Greedus, twice in the span of this week hath I spied Brother Reginald pass by the statue of St. Edgar without pause to offer a prayer of thanksgiving. So that he may achieve penitence with toil in the builder's name, I have sent him to work a doubled shift at the factory. I trust this has thy blessing. I have also a matter of doctrine for thee. Notest thou of the smaller effigy of St. Edgar that the Lady Warwick hath bestowed upon us? On us? Does this artifact require also the recitation of the prayer? Will the value of the object compensate for the lack of size? I shall secure it near my bed in the bunk room till I hear back from thee, Roland. That guy needs to get a life. Alright, so now we're gonna get in here. What? Ah, oh, the 
cat of nine tails with the ruby tips. That's lovely. High Priest Greedus, thou hast served tirelessly these twenty years to impart thy wisdom to the world. Indeed, there has been no initiate to leave St. Edgar's without the mark of thine own particular brand of teaching, blazoned in the stripes upon their backs. In recognition thereof, this token, a jeweled cat of nine tails, carry it ever... Oh, in recognition thereof, this token, a jeweled cat of nine tails, carry it ever with thee as the needs must thou often use it. Oh, no. The as needs must thou oft use it often. Good. Brother Imbro, Partis Mendes Raphael. Yeah, and I got the doggo with me, in case you heard the uh, shaking and jingle jangles and stuff. Okay, take this guy. Ah, I wonder if, no, that's just, you can cast, he can cast spells with it. I can't cast anything. I'm gonna take his guard too. Looks like the fanatics got a little. Here's what we're gonna do. Fanatics got a little drunk, right? And uh, they weren't thinking clearly. It's gonna be an interesting walk of shame tomorrow. Okay, looking good. Looking, oh yeah, okay, all right. So we've cleared this part of the church. Now it's time to move on to the other half. And there's only one other guy down there left alive, but I don't think he's guarding any loot that we can't get access to. Although we can check on the way out if we haven't hit 100 or if we're really far off. So, um, But I think for now we're actually okay. So we're gonna go back into the church. It's not tab, it's O. I have 70% stolen. That's pretty good. Okay. So, I'm also going to look through some of the pews here to see if uh, we missed any treasure. Nope, looking good. Okay. Inspector Drept was at service earlier. I love Inspector Tis the Drept. holy day of St. Edgar. Doth it surprise you? T'would be a greater shame to stand missing. Thou speakest sense, but more and more rare doth he come amongst us. His time is spent out in the city. The inspector seeketh out sinners and criminals. He canst not do that among our brethren. For who such wouldst he find here? <laughs> Tis true. But tis sad that one of our brethren be such a stranger. Wouldst that he pursue his prayers with such fervor as he pursues his investigation. When he doth pursue the wicked, he bringeth the justice of the builder to the city. But I wouldst that he would set aside his obsession. This talk of a hag is but children's rhymes and nonsense. Again, more foreshadowing, talking about the hag. We've heard about her before. She's going to be showing up in the lore. <sighs> nice. He's taken out. Not going to waste a water arrow on that torch. I'm just going to throw him in this alcove. And I was smart enough to save after the conversation. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning. I'm getting, getting stronger. Smarter. Jump up on this one. No, I can jump maybe up on here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the old immersive sim. <laughs> ah, this is the factory. Okay, it's probably smarter to get into here. Also, I'm going to open up this so that we have a quick way out. Yeah, that's a good way out. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. Actually, I think it's smarter to start with this one first. This one is a, a tad bit easier as far as I remember than the... Uh, the pagan one. The giant tree monster in that one. Get all this Why steam dost thou labor goodness. away so late into the night upon the night of St. Edgar? Shouldst not thou be at prayer? 
Wouldst that I might, but more of our brethren doth arrive, and Roland doth instruct me that machines must be ready for their use. Brother Roland doth ask too much. I see him not working beside thee at thy task. Tis true, yet our most blessed Saint Edgar didst not earn his glory in meditation or rest. I thought there was a negative we follow his there. example. We earn our place in the Builder's plan. Tis the same for me. I walk these halls with naught but the hymns of the Builder to keep me company. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and make a hard save. We're gonna make a hard save. Okay, good. Oh, 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 oh. Aha! I shall go. I'm glad I saved. Oh, okay, good. There was a hard save. Oh, okay, wow. I was like, no! Don't save over, please! Okay, we're good. We're good. Great! So close, I didn't press- I thought I had pressed uncrouch. Uh, yeah, I wanna load, please. Let's try it again. I'm gonna walk this way, and as soon as he turns around, we go down the stairs. Glory to the righteous and death to the impious. To all things doth their reward go. <sighs> Clipping, dude! Not cool. Oh, that was a moss arrow, that's why. Shit. I was like, that's why. I mean, it's, they still think it's horse shit. I don't know. I can't tell if I, if I didn't get it clipped right or what, but. Oh, please don't come here. Stay over there, bro. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and quick save real quick. And I'm gonna try and take out this torch. Like so, please do not clip it. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so that was my bad. No, I thought I thought this was all one solid object, so you couldn't clip arrows through it, and I was like, that's bullshit. But uh, no, it's okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see it again, and we're gonna go see what's what down here. We can get him when he goes to the doorway. I don't know if we get loot points for the thing we're supposed to pick up. Maybe we do. Ah, who what is? Ah. That's the one thing that is a little annoying. Is it's like sometimes the game is just like, no, you didn't blackjack them properly. And it's like, what? I was right behind him. He's probably gonna catch me. I think I'm a little too close. Yeah, he's gonna catch me. Oh no, he's good. <laughs> there we go. Sleep. Coming. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Sneaky. Get the hell out of here. Alright, we're gonna start making a little pile over here. Save again. Alright, fantastic.
don't know if that, yeah, that's a button I can turn on. Oh, he's up there, okay. I need to use that machine. Don't believe me against the dark towards the night, fire of the forge, what with the chalice hammer of the guard. Well, let's see what happens when I do this. Turns off that light. I wonder if it turns off all the other electric lights. That would be fantastic. Okay, that's the other way in here. I hear a dude coming. Oh, I think they're upstairs, most likely. Another gas bomb, very nice. All that is metal is not of the builder alone, and all that is wood is not of the trickster alone. Wood wood tends to be shaped and carved so that it serveth as part of the great house for the master builder. Even iron canst to serve contrary to its nature for the glory and service of false gods. If thou doubtest these words, turn thine eye only to the ruin of Soulforge, where the builder himself smote down the workings of the heretic Karas and his wicked crafts. Oh, was it uh, was it the builder or was it someone else who smote Karis? I don't know. Sounds like a little revisionist propaganda bullshit to me. All right, let's get this guy. No, oh, tis not. <sighs> Bellows Interchange Grill. I'm not going to turn anything on until I get this place cleared out. Okay, quick save complete. What is this? Reliquary? Oh, oh the reliquary. I think this one counts as a torch. I should not have done that. Oh, I gotta put those two in and then... Oh, okay, I think... The, is the chalice in here? Build and lead me against the dark towards the light, fire of the forge, water the Suspension kit. Chalice should be kept suspended away from the sullied earth and in greater safety means be lowered only by permission. Okay, so I gotta lower the cage. It's been a while since I've played this one to completion. I think if you put these on stairs people will fall down and maybe they'll kill themselves. That would be pretty cool. I'd pay to see that. That'd be awesome. We're gonna try that at some point. If we find a good spot to try that, we're gonna try that now, but... Oh, there it is. It's up there. Alright, so let's try and take out these goons. This, this is awesome. This was a real common effect back then with the dynamic lighting to put a fan and some light and cast a shadow. And it's great that you can do it in Thief because it's all steampunky and stuff. So, I've got to figure out if there's any other Rosifs down here. Probably need to turn that on or something. There we go, turn that off. Just two broadheads? All that for two broadheads? Nice. 
Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 1. Well, the chisel is but not, save thou hast a hammer. The hammer is but not, save thou stretch forth thine arm. The arm is but not, save for thy will to serve the builder. If the builder takes thy coin, dost thou renounce his work to beg on the street? If the builder crushes the walls that guard thee, dost thou flee to sleep in the rain? If the builder slays thine offspring, dost thy, thou slay thyself? Guard not that which thou hast made for thyself, more than the faith that burns in thy heart. And I wish they could have fit that on one page. Unstamped gear, perfect. And oil bomb. I do like that you can just keep spamming use without having to worry about using the items. You know? This is transform regulator. Okay, we may have to use that, so. I think this is also a bit of an illusion. To, I mean, you have to make gears in... Uh, in Thief 2, you definitely have to use machines to make stuff in Thief 2, which is pretty cool. Somebody's asleep here. Can I please select it? Thank you. Brother Roland, praise be, thou hyper has secured the Chow's factory, destroyed another, can't be made. Yeah, okay, I already read that. There's a guy right here. If thou walking corpse fall! Uh -oh. Well, there's some. Oh god. Put a zombie in there. Why do these creatures fret so? Oh, there's more than one zombie in here. Shit. Gotta watch out. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. What? Oh. <laughs> uh... he's gonna squish that rat. Why I can't do my duties without the lights on. physics works in this game. Take this guy. I don't know. Over here. Just stay out of my stuff, bro. That's close enough. I think we're getting close to having... Ah, there we go. Much better. Inspector Dre... Oh! Nice. It's pretty complex lock for this far in the game. Yeah, Inspector Drupt will come back later. Um, I actually like him. He's not a bad dude. He's pretty dope. Laurel, there shall be a reckoning. And again, if you've played this game already, it's fun to go in here and be like, oh, here's all this foreshadowing and clues about what his deal is. Um, of course, if you haven't played it, it's just cryptic. Journal of Inspector Drift. Tis another winter gone by, and I hath found not more of the hag. Couldst it have been mine imagination? Twas so long ago, my memory's dim. Couldst the hag have been but a figment? No. No. I cannot doubt these beliefs, for none but me follow them. Laurel, my dear friend, was ki wast killed, as so many others have been in the years since. And if I do not seek justice, then there shall be none. The crimes I pursue, surely they are more than children's rhymes and rumors. I will not turn aside. Sorry I'm stealing from you, buddy, but I kind of need this coin. Inspector Drep's notes. My investigation in truth continues apace into years long gone. More deaths hath I learned of that fit the pattern. The city guards care for naught beyond the tips of their noses, so no connection did they didst they see. 
In a death 30 years past, the skin of the victim was destroyed, removed. Another case was six years later, and the report says only that the body was mutilated, though it does not make a bent. Note a bent and aged woman was seen nearby. Okay. If we're starting to, if you haven't played this game yet, we're starting to, starting to see pattern references, lore concerning a, a hag. Okay, so it's definitely a zombie in here. I don't know if there's loot in there though, that's the problem. Also, I can't open these doors, there's probably a switch somewhere, but I don't want to mess with it. Brethren, be all of thee reminded, none may use the stamping machine, save they are permitted by Chief Worker Roland. Shouldst thou have permission, thou must obtain an unstamped gear from the storage area. Be sure to place the object squarely in the center of the machine, and be wary of the sparks and shards when the machine doth activate. Okay, so we go in here with the previously dead zombies. We got another loot. Okay, so I think we've cleared out everything. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make card save. And yeah, that looks good. Go to here. Now we just gotta go back to the reliquary and then. Alrighty, let's grab that, that's 91, 92, 98. The chalice, that's probably too much to hope for that no one misses it. I want a book. Are you serious, 98% loot? Damn. Okay. Well, we can look around in the factory a bit more. <clears throat> it might actually be in the room with that one guard. Maybe he has a coin purse or something that we didn't see. Let's just make sure it's not in here. Channel, charnel furnace. Check in first person. No, I don't think so. Okay. so maybe the, there's one guard outside that we didn't take out. Maybe he's got like a jewel or something on him. Because it, it's honestly gonna be one piece of loot that we're missing. Which is frustrating because it's like oh, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. Let's go ahead and uh, make another hard save. I may actually stop this episode after this just because the file size is getting a little big and, you know, I don't want to tempt fate and be like, oh, is the recording fucked up now? Speaking of which, we need to double check. Oh yeah, let's go down here. 
Okay, yeah, it is recording. We're looking good. Yeah, but I definitely don't want to tempt fate. Once we're done with this mission, let's uh, let's just get ready for another episode. Start a fresh recording. There should be one more guy out here. There's a priest out here. I saw him. He's right there. All right, so let's go ahead and save. Did I see rightly? Nope. Ah, it is not but peace. Yeah, it's him. He's the last guy. That's it. Wow, we've been really good at finding loot in this one. Kind of want to just, eh, whatever. I'm not going to risk it. What was it? Oh. He's down and out. Now we're just going to get out of here very deftly. Deftly, deftly. <laughs> up here first. Then up here. Then up here. And then out the window we came in. <laughs> like a thief in the night, as it were. Very nicely done. Okay. Uh, end of the mission? Yes, I would like to. Now that I have the chalice, I'm one step closer to the books in the Keeper Library. Those prophecies had better be worth the trouble. My little raid isn't going to endear me to the hammers. <clears throat> Awesome, you start back here, but they do not refill your health. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, but we're actually really close to the next thing. So, all right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me for this Let's Play. Let's make sure there's nothing in my chest here. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me for the Let's Play. Uh, and, I mean, I'm actually just going to keep playing right now. But for you guys, on your end, this is going to be the end of Episode 2 in uh, our Let's Play Thief, the not the Dark Project, the Deadly Shadows. Um series so uh thank you all for checking it out i really appreciate uh, you guys um well, i really appreciate that you appreciate the content so um thanks again for joining me i think that's gonna be it for me